time out here on Earth, love. My name is Mike Block, and uh, as Don said, this is Joe K. Walsh on the mandolin. Yeah, Joe. And Mr. Dr. Zachariah Hickman on the bass. Okay. We're so happy to be playing for you tonight. This is actually the last show on our tour. This is our first tour as a band. We've, got, we've all known each other for painfully long. And uh, we've gotten to play and record in various configurations. We're really excited to, to just play as a trio for you all today. This is really special for us. Uh, we're going to play some, uh, you know, traditional music, some uh, original music, and some other music that we don't have names for yet. Um, but uh, the first song was a Bob Dylan song called Lay Down Your Weary Tune. And then we just, uh, we just played Walls of Time by Peter Rowan, Bluegrass Song. And we mashed that up with an old-time Appalachian fiddle tune called Glory in the Meeting House. Uh, now we're going to play an original tune. Actually, Don, Don uh, got to hear us play a little bit on Friday night, and he kind of listed all of the right things, because now we're going to play an original tune inspired by West African music. It was originally written uh, to play with a friend from Nigeria who plays the kora. Uh, his name was Tunde Jigere, and this is Tune for Tunde. Thank you. 
Thank you all so much. We're going to do our version of uh, one of the beautiful American folk ballads, The Blackest Crow.
Uh, we're going to play another original tune. This one is called How About Going to the Creek? It's a funny title, but not in a ha ha way. <laughs> Okay, Walsh on the mandolin.
So um, this is always the, the point in the set when uh, Joe and, and Zachariah try to escape. Uh, but it's not as bad as you think. Um, so I, uh, I am a cello player, as uh, may have become clear at this point. Uh, but uh, cello players grow up playing Western classical music of the European tradition, uh, which means I played a lot of Bach growing up. And uh, it's a hard thing to get out of your system once it becomes a part of you. Um, and so, uh, but that being said, I don't really like practicing it in the conventional sense. So uh, now I enjoy finding new relationships with the music of Bach. Um, and so actually what we've done as a trio is we've taken one of the suites from the cello suites. Uh, is, that, is that what I said? One of the movements of the cello suites. Just one movement. And uh, we reduced it not just to a chord chart, but actually a melodic chart. That one person gets it. Yeah. So this is going to be for you, ma'am. Um, uh, you know, we, it's, it's about finding, well, what is the elemental structure of a piece of music? And what can you not do without for it to be recognizable? Yet um, everything else can be negotiable, and somehow the spirit of the music can still live. So that's the line we're going to walk with this, with this piece. Um, but before we utterly destroy Bach's music, um, I thought I'd give you an opportunity to hear it um, as intended first. Well, that's, that's also kind of a heavy burden to bear. I'll, I'll play most of the notes Bach wrote first, and then we'll play as few as possible um, immediately after. Thank you. 
Mr. Mike Block. Thank you all. We have just one more piece before we're going to take a short break. Um, the most exciting part of which is possibly the homemade cookies uh, by Don Sheldon. But if um, after you've had your obligatory five cookies, um, you can also make it over to the merch table. We've got some uh, special stuff to share with you. Um, Joe K. Walsh has some albums out there that you can check out. And I've got a folk album and a classical album and a very hip sticker that can be yours for free uh, if you sign the mailing list. Uh, and so you can take that. There's also a shirt. There's, you know, there, if, you, if you're a cellist, are there any cellists here in the room? Okay. I should, it's always the, head, the hand goes up and the head goes down. Yeah. It's okay. This, of all spaces, this is a safe space. Um, and uh, so there's some cello-centric things um, for the one of you. And, uh, but we're, uh, we'll take a short break. This last song is, a, is kind of a mashup of two songs. Um, it's actually a, kind of a mashup of two different spiritual perspectives. Uh, one is actually an Indian song uh, in Hindi called Rakupati Raghava Raja Ram. And I learned it from a good friend of mine, Mr. Sandeep Das, who uh, is a tabla player from New Delhi, India. And he and I uh, have been longtime buddies in a group we both play in called the Silk Road Ensemble. Who here has heard of the Silk Road Ensemble? Oh, fantastic. Silk Road Ensemble's a, kind of a world music slash new music group. Um, uh, both titles that tell you nothing about the actual group. Uh, but it was, uh, it was founded by the cellist Yo-Yo Ma and brings musicians from across the world together. And, uh, and so that's where Sandeep and I met. And uh, it's a beautiful song. It's actually Gandhi's favorite song. And so it's incredibly famous in India. I did get a chance to sing this in Calcutta with Sandeep. And the whole audience sang along, which felt good that they could recognize my Hindi. Um, <laughs> um, we're going to mash it up with an American gospel song by Hank Williams. Yeah. So if my English is good enough, you'll be able to sing along on that one. I feel like my conversational English is really good these days. Um, it's called Where the Soul Never Dies by Hank Williams. Thank you all. This is uh, Raghupati Raghava Raja Ram and Where the Soul Never Dies.
Yeah.